Enable notifications by ringing the bell. It's the John Tron, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with uh, the Renegades here. We are going to be reacting to another John Tron video. This is Hercules Games. Or, sorry, Huncules Games. I'm, I'm sorry. Heracles Games. Damn it. Hercules. Hercules, yeah. Hercules. Yeah. yeah, the almighty He makes that noise a lot. Yeah. It's, it's like his, uh, you know how most people like go, eh. Instead he goes like, instead he goes like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's there's some phlegm. Yeah. There's a phlegm. So, John Jafari, the John Trons, the Jan Trans, and his trusty bird companion, Jacques. Oh, man. Jacques's real good. I love Jacques. Jacques's a good boy. So, they go on journeys every now and again <laughs> to try and provide us with um, video gaming know-how. And, uh... That's funny. Uh, he... And... Along the way, John loses a little bit of himself, which... I don't think he had that much left to lose. Fair enough. And, Whew. well, here's to hoping that John maintains his sanity throughout this, because I've seen some Hercules games that are really bad. And I mean, really bad. I believe that. So, without further ado, let's uh, see what John Tron is into. Here we go. And they said Kratos was the best hero. Shush. They got him wrong, sister. Hercules is clearly better. God damn it. He even has a coconut weapon. Jack! John, I'm finally back from Vietnam. Low. Jack! Come here. I want to show you. I'm playing a game based on my favorite Greek legend, Heracles. I'm glad to see nothing two has changed around one here. Two worlds, one family. Fuck this shit. Wait a second, Jacques. I've got it. Hercules went through his 12 trials to become immortal, right? Well, I mean, I don't want to stop playing games or doing the things I love to do with you or even making this show. Hasn't stopped you before. I want to become immortal <laughs> too, Jacques. Just Fair like enough. Hercules by playing the 12 kings of Hercules. Wait, what did you fucking just say to me? Uh-huh. <laughs> Kick it! Done. Let's start the party! Man. Jacques with the realness. This is a good intro. Jan Tran. Bird. Aw, that's sweet. Bird. Hercules! Greek myths have always been a fascinating subject to me. Hercules. Treacherous journeys and epic voyages Hercules. across Man. the sea. Mythological beasts of old on the very fabric yeah. of nature itself. They tell of humans creating larger than life heroes and gods the in their own flawed image. No one is safe from his God, or her own good. hubris. It's so bad. So, to make an example of my point, I'm going to play Hercules' game on a Commodore 64. Oh. It's called Hercules. What a name. I guess they didn't have to try back then. It was the 80s. All I had to worry about was Ronald Reagan talking about Gorbachev. More like the Commodore 64. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was wow. actually revolutionary. That's what I call music. Now, you know me and everybody's favorite part of Hercules Myth was horse, sheep, lion, barn. Uh, I'm not sure what Hydra. this is, but it fits in. It's the Hydra. These are, good. These are actually All right, the good thing. We got some backstory here. Let's begin. Hercules. I'm sorry, the what now? <laughs> eh? So yeah, apparently you die instantly if you don't start to move. I'm not fucking around, I'm talking like instantly. I mean, what kind of legendary reflexes do they expect people to have? I mean, I, at this point they barely mastered Galaga. As soon as you die, it skips you ahead randomly to the next level or something, so you don't even have a chance to learn what you did wrong in the first place. And before you know it, it's over. What the hell is this shit? This was so jarring to me that I had to actually go online and check if that's the way the game was supposed to be, and it's not just broken. And yeah, that's the way the game is supposed to be. Who would do this? Who would do this? 
It's absolutely random. It's like the 1980s version of I Wanna Be the Guy. Oh, God, here, we don't talk about I Wanna Be the Guy. Fire, dead. You jump there, fire, dead, 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 dead. Hey, at least I can get the big <laughs> casino so I don't have to play this game. And I'm not talking about the Salvador Dali painting. Oh, yeah, Herc, climb those ropes. Climb those ropes, baby. So close. Almost at the exit. So close. Come on. Oh, come on. Now I'm done with this. Got Believe it or not, there's down. actually another Hercules-related game on the Commodore 64. It's called Hercules, Slayer of the Dam. I guess they just couldn't get enough of that now, generic jumping mythos back in the day. Right into... But with the hot... <coughs> Whoever heard of a game sandwich? being on a cassette I tape? So. Let's blow it up, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Well, hi there. What are you up to today? He's swinging his tennis racket. Bun. Bun, bun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta say, there's not much to this one. You just, you just sort of beat the shit out of this guy. And then there's all these things going on in the corners of the screen that I just... I just have no idea what the hell. There's actually other versions of this game on consoles like the ZX Spectrum and the MSX. Yeah! Is that the way you're gonna play? No, thank you. I'm not dancing this dance today. Or should I say, shuffling this shuffle? Next. As for some of the early video game industry's more interesting takes on the Hercules fable, we have DFCAG. It's a it's a lady. It's a Famicom game. Yep. Oh no, it does. It's a Famicom RPG, and quite honestly, I could not tell you what the hell is going on in it. This rather unknown series is still going on today on the Nintendo DS, under the same name. Yep. Who'd have thought? So here's a little known classic for the PS1, Herc's Adventures, and it's all thanks to the military industrial complex. Truth be told, I don't even know where I'm getting all these games from. Now, if we're being strict on mythological canon here, this is actually Hercules. As you can see here, he is the Hercules of legend. We'll just call him Herc. It counts. You can also pick from mythological characters Atlanta and Jason. If you're stupid, I don't know who'd want to play these two. One's a city in Georgia, the other one's a regular name. Nah, I want to play as Hercules. Atalanta. That sounds just a bit too much like Dan Castell there. Don't worry, I'm Hercules. So it's basically just a Diablo yeah. style beat em up. It's pretty cool, honestly. One of the better, lesser known games out there for the PS1. The art style's sweet. And the music sounds a near lawsuit level of similar to Star Wars. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. That's real close. Get him to you! Ah, good work so far. But you still have a long way to go. Seek out the help of my fellow uh, girls. Yes. Hera, yeah. Poseidon, Athena, yes. and Dionysus. Yes. But be Dutch. careful. Fantastic. <laughs> Hades has many allies. <coughs> and Jock's just like, a couple hey. of hundred of them just up ahead. Couple of what of them? Couple of hundred of them. Couple of hundred of them. Couple of hundred of them just up ahead. So good luck. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is not a stereotypical look if I've ever seen one. Look at that nose. James Excuse me, Hades. Do you think you could speak up a bit? You shall serve me in the land of the dead. You shall serve me in the land of the dead. Pretty much. That's how he talks. Everything here really shines. Wait, what's, what's that? You're yes. right. There's store help. I mean, has come. it's not wrong. <laughs> news that was sent to change my life has fallen upon me. Man. He's going to get a gyro. Euro. No. Oh, it's technically pronounced Euro. Although I still want to call it a gyro because it sounds cooler. Oh. No. No, it doesn't. Stone. Dude, are you going to be all right? You shut up. Disney's Hercules. Finally, a familiar face. And hey, this that, movie's that always game been wasn't one actually that bad. It was Let's actually okay. This one has to offer. These games just keep showing up in my house when I'm sleeping, man. This game is actually freaking awesome! Man! Awesome music, awesome and punchy sound Look at that sprite work! Danny oh yeah! Danny talks to you! Kick it, Danny! Alright! 
Rule number 95, kid. Concentrate. Get, oh, oh. What are you doing? Get your sword. I'll get my sword for you, Danny. What is? What is? Rule number 95. Well, that's just not right at all, I wouldn't think. The game functions on a 2D plane and largely consists of sprites. It's all very interesting and exciting and just dang fun to play. I'd have to say it could easily be considered a hidden gem on the PS1. I mean, come on, just listen to Danny DeVito's conviction. <laughs> it's, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> you hear that guy? You hear the truth in that dialogue? We're all living in a human condition, but he's speaking it. I mean, after something like this, it couldn't get any better, right? It stops. We've had fun. We're in ecstasy. Wrong. The Game Boy version is a piece of shit. Have a look for yourself. I'm sure it'll be an enriching experience. Now listen to me. If everybody was critical about everything all the time, the world would be a dull place. So let's start with the positives. At least it gave me a millisecond's preview of the game before shoving a hit in my fucking face! Hercules, look for bonuses in the trees. What does that mean, dude? Hmm, if there were anything to give me the goose pimples, it's probably that. Now that's just weird. That's like starting a game off being like, Hercules, remember the scent of mother. What? Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm, I'm receptive, but don't start me off like that. Ease me into this shit, okay? Don't just start off gung-ho. Don't play your royal flush right away. I always say the royal flush when playing poker. The, the, the thing is, don't play poker with me. <laughs> don't play poker with me. <laughs> oh, God, that music. That sounds nothing like Disney's Hercules. That doesn't even sound like it could go in the special features on a DVD. It's just one of those songs that drones on and on and on. Perfectly complimenting the gameplay, I might add. And these hints just keep popping up. Hercules, beware of fireballs. Hercules, beware of spite and jealousy. This game is pure action. I I'm not talking, this game is so much action that if there, if there was a war protest, this game would be there in Times Square picketing before the feminists got there. That looks more like Luke Skywalker than Disney's fucking Hercules. He does some weird run if you mess around with the buttons. I don't know what it does though. This game is an ungodly amount of heart. One fuck up and you're dead. And back to the beginning. Lovely. I mean, come on, how do Jeez. I get on this vine? I'm inching so slowly and I can't, I, Dad. I can't get it. Oh, I see, you gotta do this bullshit to get it. Of course, good luck landing that. This game is clearly meant to be an acrobatic platformer, as you can see. Well, while we're here, we might as well rave about it. I have to say though, it's kind of cool when he swings his sword. Feels like there's some real weight to it. Now that would be all there is to say about the Disney Hercules games, but there's one last strange addition to this collection. Hercules 2 for the Sega Genesis? Okay, that's right. There's a pirated version of the PS1 edition for the Sega Genesis called Hercules 2. That sure makes a lot of sense. Mm. What? You didn't even have to, oh my god! Where was Hercules 1 exactly? Someone fill me in on this? Also, what's with the snapping? Did you mean to use this sound effect, guys? This game is really odd. It uses a lot of the same sound bites, just incredibly bit crushed. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. Hercules does what Nintendo Hercules. Alright, last on our list. Hercules, the legendary journeys. You know, like the TV Man. show with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or whoever the fuck that was. Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. Albert Pacino. Fonzie. The fact that there's a game of this pretty much verifies that someone out there hates me. Hercules TV Edition. God, this menu music makes me feel like I'm about to embark on an educational adventure or something. I'm not knocking that. Because I want to do that. <laughs> so I hope that's what's going to happen. The brain is made up of billions and billions of neurons. Stay a while, friend, and I will tell you an epic tale. Yes, hmm, I'm buying it. I mean, clearly that is the gate of a man who has an epic tale to tell. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that probably something about Dracula or werewolves. Let's just do this hoop. The werewolves flash up to picture Sean Connery. Follow me outside so that we may begin. I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I'm being treated appropriately. Hmm, there's something about this game that's just eerily familiar, isn't it? But oh, I yeah. I put my finger on it. Hmm, what is it? God the blue damn action it. button? The chicken cooing? 
Uh, that forest-like and cozy opening, that te holy shit teleport centaur! Should have called it The Legend of Hercules, Ocarina of Time, if you catch my cold! Hey! Seriously, this <laughs> game's introduction is nearly identical to Ocarina of Time. It's like they just want to get my Pavlovian going. My Pavlov. Hey, I'm sold. I need you to clear these rocks out of this field for me, Hercules. Riveting. I mean, honestly, you get the deadliest and strongest demigod on the planet, and this is what you use him for. This is his best application? Well, I mean, yeah. Who else could pick up rocks that big? Your sister? She just can't do it. You know, as far as a licensed game with an IP this mundane, it's really not that bad. Kind of impressive in scale. Although, ultimately, it's nothing I'd write home about. Are you just suplexing? Well, honest, bring down the mic. Best thing about this game suplexing is the overpowered-ass pause sound. Actually, there's also a Game Boy version of this one. Let's have a look at it. That's the box art? Okay. I think that's Kevin Sorbo overall. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh, Jock, no! Damn it, so the first thing you'll notice about this magnificent work of art is the score. Or should I say the knives running up and down rusty garbage bins? That's probably closer. <laughs> it hurts my ears so bad, it needs to stop. It's like a mix between Help the fever me. dream and the insane clown posse. Oh, oh man, looks like Hercules has been eating one too many ambrosias. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His walk cycle is amazing. I can't get enough of it. Yeah. It's like Eric Cartman trying to cut a jig. <laughs> Unlike the N64 version, this one's more like an RPG. It makes this annoying sound every time you talk to someone. That's the world the... is coming to an end or something. I only speak to Isn't sailors. That the jingle well, that's from the, case, the you're show. You're probably going to be pretty much limiting yourself to Maybe. port towns, honestly. And even then, they're out to sea most of the time. Why aren't you on a boat? A boat would really be a better fit for you. Also, what the fuck? Who says that? The fisherman also only talks to sailors. Okay, well, I mean, at least that one makes some sense. The stroller also only talks to sailors. Okay, first of all, what kind of an occupation is stroller? <laughs> what kind of town is this? How did anyone even learn speech if everyone talks to sailors and there ain't no sailors around town? Well, I guess if being a sailor is what it takes to be validated around here, I might as well take to the streets and give it my all. Ugh. Stand a chance. Poor hunk of a bastard sunk like a brick. Huh. Well, this sweet old lady looks kind enough. Maybe I'll finally get a hint about what to do around here. Don't stay here. I might hurt you. <laughs> lady, you gotta work on that anger. I'm sorry to have imposed on you, madam. Good thing we're not in Florida, or this may have really turned ugly. Leave me alone. Can't you see that I am busy? Oh, don't you worry, Yuri. It's plain for all to see. Also, I think it's prudent to point out that it's actually Mr. Eurydice who's the busy one. Busy, busy, busy. He can't even be bothered to clean out the dead cat he's so preoccupied. Cat's dead, dude. You can't just leave something like this hanging around. Gotta step up. Gotta be a man. Get rid of this. Put it in the trash. Can't be shirking responsibility. Now, I've played a lot of RPGs in my day, and I gotta say, hands down, this one has to have the most standoffish NPCs <laughs> ever. I don't think even one of these people is happy to see you. They might as well not be there at all. Hey guys, I don't think you should be so rude to Hercules. He's the son of Zeus! Also, he can kill you really easily. I think that's the main thing. Alright, well, if I can't find any help outside, maybe I'll find some help inside. Get out of here. <laughs> Of our home. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what most of the RPG well, yeah, people I mean, should I, be saying? I suppose that's right. Get out, get out of my house. Anything from that? What are you doing in my house? Get out of my house. I don't really want to become a normal that much anyways. Oh, no. It's too much hard work. You gotta keep watching people going out of the White House for the rest of the time. No thanks, Samuel. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me. If you want to follow um, me on Twitter, you can click that. There's more where that came from, so stick around! Or just make fun of me in the comments like you always do. That's just that's going to be another year before it's another JonTron. I have to eat Chipotle a lot. It takes up a lot of my time. Don't you get it? You just, this is past you. This is above... I'm uh, waving my ha hand above you. My head! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering about the Spider-Man uh, joystick. Oh, that that's a plug and play console. It's real bad. It sucks. Oh yeah, no, I've, I I knew that, but the way that they made, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's one thing I think John commented on. He's just like, you know, how this is made really spices up your imagination. I mean, the SpongeBob with the nose was okay. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, who should say? <laughs> it's, it's not good. No, it's not. It's hmm. not good. Jesus. So, <sighs> I remember the Hercules game on PS1. It was actually pretty good. That seemed Hydra... like it would have been fun to play. Yeah, the Hydra boss battle was actually pretty damn good. Because you actually had to cut its heads off in order to proceed in the boss battle, and mm-hmm. it's and it kept sprouting heads. Yeah. Which is like, holy you crap. You know, like the Hydra does. Yes. Yes. So, honestly, I... I <clears throat> so, you've seen John Tron before, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you seen this one before? No. Okay. What's one of your... Uh, what's one of the John Trons you have seen? Oh, I just... Like, I saw him basically just back when he was on Game Grumps. Oh, uh, the Grumps. Ah. That's where <laughs> yeah. most people... That's where a lot of people remember yeah. John from. I don't know if I've seen any of his, like... His his, his videos from his channel. Like, his standalone stuff. Yes. Okay. I get that. It I, was interesting, though. I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he he's a funny guy. Very, very funny. I actually... Uh, normal... Uh, Okay, I'll say this: the norm, the original Normal Boots crew, mm-hmm. him, Peanut Butter Gamer, Gerard, uh, Pro Jared, mm-hmm. a lot of them. Uh, out of them, I would say Jontron is Jontron's like one of the more like one of the biggest members of the. Like I'd say Gerard's almost up there. He's almost at a million subs now, which I'm very happy about. Gerard the Completionist. Yeah. Uh, but... Good old Gerard. Yeah. Good old pro Gerard the Finishist. Yeah. Have you ever seen Ger- uh, Gerard the Completionist? No. He is impressive. He is a crazy man. Uh, <laughs> basically, he takes a game, and he completes everything there is to do in that game. Literally. And then he gives you a review of said game. Literally everything. <laughs> Sometimes the game is good. Sometimes the game is Pepsi Man. <laughs> Pepsi Man! I was about to ask if he does games that like shouldn't be taken seriously. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he he delights in that. He Actually, I met him, and he told me that he was going to do a completionist of uh, Mario is Missing. Okay, Kyra, time for a little history lesson. Mario's Missing is a piece of shit game. Terrible game. <laughs> End history lesson. Um, basically, the entire thing is, hey, Mario got kidnapped by Bowser. Now we have to save him by traveling around the real world as Luigi and doing... And history so, lessons and what? doing history or lessons? history and geography lessons. Uh-huh. I mean, I expected you to say that you had to play as Peach to save him. No, I wish that's Super Princess Peach. That game is actually pretty good. This I have not heard of that. This game's a piece of shit. El Terrible. Uh, and they did. Uh, so they also have a channel called Super Beard Bros, which I have mentioned before. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. And they did a Super Drunk Bros on Mario is Missing. So, they got, got the bad. question right. Or wrong. Or when you finished a level, there were certain amounts of alcohol you had to imbibe. And it got dumb. And as a joke, when Nate went to meet them, I had, I had him go, Okay, if you get, need to get something signed, take your copy of Mario is Missing and get it signed. Yeah. And I did. I took and my copy did. of Mario's Missing. I got it signed. And it was good. 
It was great. It was very good. I actually had them do a bit with me, uh, which was actually very interesting. Oh, yeah. But that's a story for another time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show I'll show that to you, but I will show that to you. Okay. It's, it's, it's real dumb, but it's real good. Uh, good there it times. is. I'll show you. I'll show you after we're done. So, uh, the Hercules games. There's a lot of. There's quite a few of them, and some of them are shitty. Mm-hmm. I remember the Game Boy one, uh, the Disney Game Boy one. Oh. I wish I. Ha- I wish I didn't because mm-hmm. it was. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest. The N64 Hercules Legendary Journeys one kind of interests me. Well, it's it's effectively just. Legend of Zelda with a Hercules I'm skin. Fine with that. Eh, I, don't I don't know. know. Like some of the gameplay he showed, I'm like, okay, that that looks interesting. All right. <laughs> I kind of wanted the the Disney Hercules uh, the P- PS1. PS1, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Disney Hercules on PS1. I'm I want to look for it and I actually want to play again because yeah. I want to beat it. I want to see if I can actually beat it. I honestly feel like. G2K would have it. Probably. G2K or uh, or pop culture. Yeah. yeah. We have options. Yes, we do. So, all right. Anyway, this was uh, Jan Tran. I'm sorry, John Tron. Uh, <laughs> Hercules games. And what did you all think? Do you all think the Hercules games are as good or as bad as he's mentioned in this video? If so, let us know in the comments down below. Also, uh, if you want to link to the original video, link in the description as well. And uh, also link to our other various other endeavors, including uh, our Patreon and our Discord. And until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. I'm Kyra. And we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. Thank you.